smarter than a fifth grader. The show where if grown-ups can prove they're smarter than primary school kids, we let them possibly walk away with half a million dollars. <laughs> OK, guys, are you ready to meet our new classmate? Yeah! OK, here's a 28-year-old sales executive, actor and model, Linda. Hello, right, Glenn, how are you? Uh, a little scared, but all good. From that? Or from this photo? Uh, a <laughs> little of both now, I think. Wow. Um, but I had a bit of an accident in rehearsal today, so... Oh, on the scooter? Yeah. What went horribly wrong? I ended up on the floor. That's what <laughs> rehearsals are for. Now, let me guess. This was the photo that had everybody going, this kid's going to be a model. Uh, <laughs> possibly not. But I guess it started a fixation with photography. Oh, yep. Um, always really been into photography and um, hope to eventually start my own business. Right. Taking photos all around the world. Well, the hopefully, if you win some cash today, we could send you on your way to a big, proper photography course and doing all the wonderful things that you would that love would to do. That would be awesome. Or at least some scooter lessons. Yes. <laughs> all right, now, Glenn, this clever group Hi, of kids. fifth graders, Hi. they will be here to help you, thank goodness for you, because you'll be able to cheat off them. Why don't you pick one now and I'll explain oh, how... Hey, well, I got told when I was at uh, primary school that I used to sit up the straightest, and I think that person was Darcy. Oh, Darcy, up, so yeah. Darcy, come on down. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Hello, Darcy. How are you doing, Darcy? I'm going great. Yeah? And now, have you done, you're a performer. Have you ever done any modelling work? When I was littler. Yeah? <laughs> when you were littler? <laughs> littler. What did you do? What sort of stuff did you do? Did you um, do... Oh, just, like, came up things. On, like, magazine type. You were like one of those Kmart catalogue people. Yeah, So I could have been flicking uh, through uh, and just going, once. I want that baby wear. And that could have been you, Darcy. Uh, only once. It's OK. Oh, but no, I know a Kmart person. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Glenn, let me explain how our show works. On the board, you're going to see ten subjects. They range from the first grade to the fifth grade, all from the Australian primary school curriculum. You can pick them in any order. Your first correct answer will be worth $1,000. If right. you get all ten correct, you'll earn for yourself two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> That'll put a big smile on your face, like this. <laughs> Should you get all of our ten questions correct, we'll allow you a shot at one extra primary school question. That one, however, will be worth this. Five hundred thousand. Now, Glenn, if for whatever reason you want to panic and run away into the dark room, if our little primary school test gets too tough for you, you can drop out at any time with whatever money you have won up until that point. But you still have to promise me that you will look down the barrel of that camera with your best model pose and tell everybody watching at home, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Will you do that for me? It's tough, Rove, but um, I, I highly doubt I'll be smarter than a fifth grader, so I'm, I'm up for it. OK. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's find out. Is Glenn Melanta smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> All right. Now, before we pick a subject, you said that you're sure you're not smarter than a fifth grader. Why is that? I'm honest. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, and because I'm doubtful that I'll answer the first one, let alone get to the eleventh question. <laughs> But I'm hoping I do. I'm still hopeful. Doubtful, but hopeful. But also, too, didn't you uh, try to uh, get an education degree to teach fifth and sixth school kids? This is true, which um, is obviously going to make it that much more humiliating, Rose. Um, <laughs> so you attempted to teach fifth and sixth grade? Yes. And what happened? I was teaching maths, and it was my poorest subject in school by far. <laughs> and um, I actually had a couple of questions thrown from um, the class and um, I couldn't respond, naturally. <laughs> and um, then when I did respond, thought, well, I'll, I'll do the whole fake it till you make it thing, they actually told me I was wrong. And in fact, the class was right and I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, you've got your classmates here to help you. Darcy, if you had to pick two subjects to help Glenn out, what would you be thinking of your strong suits up there? Um, um, media! Media, computer studies, literature, sport, and art. Well, that pretty much is everything. <laughs> you picked the right class, mate. What are you yeah, thinking, Glenn? She's narrowed it down. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm thinking. Um, Go math! I'm I thinking... Media. Um, media. Media. I'm thinking media. maybe maths was really my poorest subject. Yeah. So maybe knock that one off first. OK. First grade maths. 